Well, folks, welcome back to MLE Sports GG2, presented by APM Music. Once again, my name is Kigabyte, and I am joined tonight for the second game by Chaser himself. He is joining me in the booth. Welcome back, Chaser. Well, after a, a kind of a bit more of a, like, it was exciting, but also lackluster at the same time. It had its moments. After a, um, it was definitely a first match. After a first match, we have this second one here, moving from Academy League uh, and, and Freeze to Master League and Twos. We have the Wizards and Sharks. So I believe we've been looking at the sheets on this one, and we have some things to say about it. Yeah, I think the Sharks are going to be looking uh, uh, really good in this one. They're sitting at 29-11 and 11 on the season, 7-1 and one series record. So right now, they're statistically in a really good spot to take the series. But that's not to, not to take away anything from the Wizards. They've already played their threes match, and the Wizards actually beat the Sharks three games to two. Lad also playing for the Wizards in that match against Shade and Water, so kind of seeing already what the opponent has to throw at them in that matchup and getting the better of him in that win, too. Yeah, Lad is currently the top player on the Wizards' side. He has the highest MVPR for the Wizards over on the side of the Sharks, though. We have two spectacular players running up here. It is Shade and Water. And these two players, in twos, they are significantly better than their threes games, even. Water with a 15 and 5 game record. Jade at 12 and 8 to this point. And both of them hovering around the 5.3 to 5.4 MVPR range. Statistically, they might have a, a huge advantage over the Wizards here, but I, I believe there are some intangibles, like you said, like like that 3 to 2 win in 3 yesterday that might give the Wizards a fighting chance. Yeah, and not only that, I, I gotta think that Lad's gonna be able to shut them down there. And also, the Wizards have been a little bit more of a defensive team, averaging about four saves per game with this roster. And they're scoring a little bit less, so I would expect to see some of a, a counterattack type of gameplay coming out from the Wizards as uh, they look to try to take as many games as possible. They're right now trailing the Spectre in the Mystic Division by six games. They're trying to catch up. Any wins in this game will help them out with that. Well, both these teams are going to be hoping to walk away from this one with a win. The Sharks are pretty comfortably in first in their division, but over on the side of the Wizards, it's not the case. Second in their division, six games back. They want as many of those back tonight as they can get. They're going to try for it. It's game one here. Sharks versus Wizards underway. And the Wizards are going to have the first crack at it, but they're going to be giving away possession to the Sharks as Water takes over. It's one touch, but it's not able to get past seven. Jade challenging well at midfield. Lad is able to push it up for seven. It's going to be an opportunity for a two-on-one, possibly. Just missing that ball into the middle is seven, and Water takes it away. Still a little bit slow. Both teams try to feel each other out through the first 30 seconds. This is a good opportunity for Shade. It's going to be stopped out by seven. Well, you said yourself, Wizards are more of a defensive team. They like to go for more of those saves, wait for an opportunity that their opponents leave open, and then try for that. But the Sharks so far have been pretty good at making pressure happen. So they haven't managed to capitalize on any of their opportunities yet. Mainly because the Wizards are stopping up any holes right before the Sharks can put the ball through that hole. Now this is going to be a... Oh, that's going to be a hole right... That's going to be a big hole right there for the Sharks, actually. As Shade takes full advantage on the rotate. Gets the win on that challenge from seven. And then just nice, easy shot into that far post. Lead to the Sharks. We expected an offensive push from them. And they're going to show up quickly here game one never mind me you know i think i think that's what two tonight two two curses by me tonight chaser I'm not yeah, right. who, who's keeping track me apparently oh, okay <laughs> well, well you know what the wizards are just gonna come back while we're talking seven is gonna tie it up one to one out just past a minute elapsed and the wizards aren't done they're not gonna take this line down yeah and that's a double commit on the back wall coming out from the sharks as well got to communicate that you're up for that already not make your teammate push it as well. And Shade trying to make the last ditch save in that situation was really in a bad spot. And unfortunately, nice easy play for the for the Wizards to get right back to a tie game. And now they're gonna have to make a save here. As Water's gonna push this one into the corner. Has another opportunity, but it's gonna get taken off the ball there with a great tackle coming out from seven. Big clear comes from Lad. Water's gonna chase this one down to the back wall, slowly plays it into the corner, tries to get the pinch but the Wizards challenging are able to keep it in the zone. This is going to be a possession touch coming out from seven, trying to avoid a demo as well. Now they have it again, looking to set it up to Lad, but it's going to be stopped out. Another double commit from the Sharks, so they got to be careful about that. 
so far it's worked out for them, but if, if they do it too much, if they don't, if they start getting a little bit too cocky on those double commits, we said they have to be careful. They could very easily let an easy one go by, but we don't want to see that happen now, do we? The Wizards, they are going to be trying to keep this one out of there. Shot in by Water, and the Sharks take the lead again. Well, very fitting that a shark would be in water, but water is on the shark. So good one coming in here from there. That angle just past seven, right down the middle of the net as well. But a lead once again here for those sharks. As we have three minutes remaining, they're looking to strike again here as water wins that kickoff handedly for the shark. Oh, water not able to. Oh, that's a bad touch. No, it was whipped. Seven just missed that open that opportunity. They're gonna be kicking themselves. Shade up top. He's looking for the ceiling shot. He's not gonna be able to put it on target. Saved up by Lad. But the Wizards just missed out on a huge opportunity there. They're gonna be kicking themselves so hard. They might get one back here. They will, but oh, you still gotta feel bad. Redemption for the Wizards. They get it back to a tie game just before halftime. I think Water wanted a little bit more power on that flick over towards the corner. Just doesn't get enough of it. And it's a nice pass right to their opponents. Back to a level playing field here. And we've already hit, got half the game done. So guess what? Just like a 0-0 game right now. Game reset. And here we go. Shade grabs it, carries it, gets it past one. Good little touch there. Shade's going to try and catch Shade on Lad, but he's not going to be able to get it done. Seven demos out Shade. Water is still up there and making moves. And Dirty Ganting is going to get it back to mid. Shade and Seven combined for a little bit of a pinch. But Water is going to wisely back off. Eyes his teammates some time to get back. And Shade will recollect this one in midfield. And there's one thing I would say about the Sharks. They've done a good job here of reinitiating when they have the opportunity to do so. Yeah, well, this is a reinitiation coming in from Lad, giving the Wizards the lead. And that's just a really awkward spot for Water. I don't believe they had very much boost, and if they did, it wasn't really in a good position either. But Lad is able to take full advantage here. Back to the lead for the Wizards. As no enough time for the Sharks to do something here, but they've got to get it going. Well, there it is. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Quit off the kickoff. Shade is going to just send that one right in. Wow, what a pinch. Seven, not the greatest kickoff stance. And just Jade takes Lad right off guard. Sets it in the near post. I think Lad thought he had some time, but Jade was just go, go, go that whole time. Well, Shade's going to get that kickoff as well, but it's going to give possession away. For the time being, Water is able to get there first, though, at the midfield line. Shade's going to go for a push in the corner as well. Seven is able to get it back towards midfield, but that's going to set it up for Water. Water ready for that to drop down but doesn't have it as lad is able to get it back towards the midfield line but a good push from shade and right now the sharks are really getting the advantage at the midfield line not allowing big clears to come out from the wizards like i said the reinitiation by the sharks so far has been key they've scored two of their three goals off of reinitiations and they're going to try and make it a third but it will be seven who's able to collect this one and set it up for lad who might have an opportunity but has no boost instead it'll fake out the defender and Seven just takes advantage of the open net. Looks like Shade was trying to read that one off the back wall, but yeah, just a bit of a misread there and a good job of recognizing the situation at hand. The Wizards back to the lead here with a minute six. And, um, the sun was in Shade's eyes. Ah. Uh, 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 so funny. Anyway, Inch? Nope. Seven and oh, Glad no. both went for that one, but Shade will just take this one right back. That would have been cute that it managed to happen, but nope. It'll be the Sharks sticking the uh, game back to a 4-4. And this is really high scoring. It's it's not like it's more high scoring than I was expecting, given what we've seen from the Wizards in terms of people. Yeah, uh, right now, though, the, the Sharks are really just trying to push any kind of advantage that they have. And I mean, with that play in particular, you know, in, in threes, it's okay to make those kinds of pinch plays try to try to happen. But in twos, you really got to be careful about pushing too far forward and allowing the, those types of counterattacks to come out for your opponents. As there's another double commit coming up from the Wizards, and Shade's going to have an opportunity. Grabs that boost, looking for the shot. Very well done. Back to the lead here for the Sharks. 32 seconds remaining. 
That might have been the winning goal, but we've seen a lot of goals scored, so I'm not willing to give that a call just yet. Although I will say the Wizards, off of two double commits now, we've seen the Sharks score two unanswered. The Wizards, they've got to shape that up. In twos, it's not going to work out. We did say that the Wizards beat the Sharks in threes. They might be playing a little bit like threes here, but they can't do that. Yeah, you got to be careful. A great demo comes out, but it is stopped out by the Wizards there. Now Water trying to set it into the middle. Looks like Shades turned back towards goal. Pops that one out into the middle again, but this is going to be an opportunity for the Wizards. Straight down, it's coming in. Good job of getting that one out off the back wall. Now going the other way. Time has expired. And here we go. Sharks taking game number one. Well, that was one heck of a game number one, I'll say. Nine goals scored over the course of the game. Sharks eventually going to take it five to four. Big standout there from Shade as well. The cleanup man, 4-1-0-9 on the stat line. Four goals, nine shots. It was just a Sharks offensive frenzy. They saw the Wizards were having issues. The Wizards, they didn't even come out with as many saves as we would normally see. Three for seven, one for Land, four saves on their side. It, it just it just seems like they're going to have to do more to stand up on defense if they want to still take that approach because the Sharks are just way too powerful and able to break through that line. And not only that, but you see the shot differential there as well, 12 to 5. So mm -hmm. you're seeing the, the offense being heavily in favor of the Sharks, heavily in favor of them. So you would expect to see more saves coming out, but maybe it's just the accuracy in the game one situation there that the Sharks were kind of feeling the jitters, and now they're going to try to get back to their their really strong attack here in game number two. Well, the Wizards, they're going to have to find some way to break this offense of the Sharks, who have been able to match them at every single touch. They're going to have to find a way to turn that back around on them. So far, they've done a good job of getting a few in, but just a couple of double commits have really cost them. They're going to have the goal or the ball first here in game number two. It is taken away from them pretty quickly. As water up to Shade, Shade back up to field. He's not going to be able to follow that one up. So a little bit of a volley here off the initial kickoff. Yeah, but neither team is looking to make those defensive mistakes. And now here comes a bump. That's really critical. Seven's going to get the, sh the bump on the back line. Lad's going to take the shot. And the Wizards jump to the lead quickly. I don't even think it uh, Oh, yeah, Seven was able to get that touch. Water would have been there for that one. Shade just didn't have time to get back. So good home play by the Wizards. You love to see it. That's a way to break that offense if you can find them. Yeah, I mean, getting physical is going to be beneficial. This is an opportunity for seven, but Shade is able to get back once again this time. This time they are in the right spot at the right time, but now the Wizards, they have possession. Lad's going to look get it past Water. Grabs a boost, hits it to the back wall. Good pinch on the volley from Water. Sends it back to midfield just for the time being as Seven and the Wizards try to push it in. Oh, what a touch by Shade. Water almost able to get it past Lad. Well, he does get it past Lad, just not on target. Shade up over Seven. Seven reads that one all day long. Water back on target. Lad's there. Shade, that was a little bit ambitious, I think. Great try at the read. I think he had it, just couldn't quite complete the flip in time. Water be able to get the clear as Seven was trying to dribble in it past both players. Shade looking for the bump, not able to find Lad. Lad was rotating back in the net at that point. Shade bump finally gets it. No, doesn't get it past Lad. Now they'll have to scramble back. Water going back in the net. Lad is going to have control of this one. The hook shot, not able to get it in. Water, great save. Yeah, and that was really a big play, too, on the back line. Great recovery coming out for Lad. This is going to be a shot attempt on the near post, but it's not going to go in this time off the post. The Shade will carry this one across the field. Down off the ceiling it goes. Get the pinch. Grabbing that boost. Now looking to make another play happen. Looking to get it to Water. Water has a shot attempt. It's going to be close to on target. Just wide. But Shade is still there. Keeping that pressure for the Sharks. Good shot comes in. And again the Wizards getting a save. Lad receiving that one. Has possession now. Back to midfield. It goes with a good midfield defense coming out from Shade again. Has the ball in the corner. Ball into the middle for Water. Water is... Up for it, taking the shot. Lad, good recovery once again. Gets it back out to the corner and out of harm's way. The Sharks have done a good job of sustaining the offense here. They've put the Wizards in the back foot a couple times, but it seems like the Wizards are fully comfortable playing on their own goal line and then sending it back the other way with force. Lad will take the shot off of the quick touch from seven. Flicks it over the last defender. Water can't get up to it. Well, he does a little bit, but Lad reads it out into that top right corner of the Wizards. Two, goal lead now right before halftime. 
And the unsung hero on that play was definitely from Seven. Faked out Shade. Shade was expecting that to come across the net a little bit sooner than it did. And, and that fake was really critical to setting the whole play up and allowing Ladd to push forward on the attack. Now the Wizards on the back foot in, in their own zone. Ladd will take possession here slowly. Does not have very much boost, I believe. Does get the big clear, though. Now looks the challenge. Looks like they've picked up some boost at midfield. Good 50 comes out. That ball into the middle for the Sharks. Water is going to take the shot. It's oh, off the crossbar. No. Shade's going to have to try to turn this one quickly on target. Does do so. Just over the top of the defense, and it's back to a one-goal game. Oh, no. I thought when Water got this touch, I thought he would have to put it in. Otherwise, it was going to be easily saved by the Wizards. But Ladd hesitates on taking that touch. He was definitely not out of boost. He had 20. He said he gets on that back post, but that just leaves the ball open, or the goal basically open for Shade, who takes advantage and sets it in. Opportunity for the uh, Sharks to get here. Water is not able to get it past seven, and he steals their boost too. So this is going to be an opportunity for the Sharks to keep the pressure going. What a flick by Shade, but seven is just barely able to get that one out. Water to Shade. Everyone's up. Wizards opportunity. Seven will have the easy touch, but no, it's slow. Water's going to be there in time, but the lad comes up and pushes the ball in. That was almost disastrous for the Wizards. Yeah, that was more like a janitor play coming in from Ladd here. Water just popping that one up, not able to get it over to the corner. And even if they had got it over the corner, I think the Wizards were going to start to generate that attack. They probably would have had some boost to play with as well, as they were pro more than likely going to be stealing that corner boost on the offensive half. So back to a two-goal advantage for the Wizards, and they're looking for more as Seven goes to the backboard. Great defense on that backboard from Shade, though, as the Sharks get it back to midfield. Trying to pre-jump this, almost reads that. And that touch from seven off the backboard. Nice and easy for Ladd. Water's not able to make contact. A three-goal advantage now for the Wizards. Beautiful one-two play here. Ladd upfield to seven. Tries to get that one on target. Almost does. That would have been a play of the week nomination. And drops it down for lag instead. And folks, by the way, if you see a goal that you really like, that you think should be one of the best of the week, flip it. Send it into Plays of the Week in our Discord server, and it will be considered for the Play of the Week nomination. So do that if you see any ones that you are that you think would be a highlight reel play. But we continue on here with a four to one lead in favor of the Wizards. They've got a five to one lead. As Vlad from the midfield, it's a sniper. Yeah, and this game just getting really out of hand right now. The Sharks. Trying to push an attack forward, but there's really nothing doing for him right now. The Wizards just all over them right now, working their magic on these Sharks. Minute 10 remaining. Down by four are the Sharks, but this is twos. A lot easier to get four back in twos than it is in threes. Not easy at all, but it's, it's definitely doable at, at the very least. Water's gonna make do his best to try and get one back here, and he will. I thought that was going to be saved. What happened to the Wizards? Looks like a field kind of backflip. Lad had an opportunity. Oh, yeah. Kind of playing shadow and just uh, Ooh, actually just some sparks off touch. the car. Yeah. Sparks the off the car. Touch. That's uh, unfortunate. That is very unfortunate as Lad gets server problemed. Water will try and take one up the wall, but he won't be able to get there. Aid will be able to get it to Water at least, who gets a touch over one, but Ladd is able to get it out to seven. We need to see a little bit more acceleration on offense from the Sharks here if they're going to be able to get this one done and force an overtime. Ladd tips it up, is looking for seven. Water collects it. Water needs to go a bit quicker here. He's going to take it away. See you seven have that go covered. In the middle, shade, shot, goal. We have a game. Yeah, there's definitely an opportunity here for the Sharks. Water. Actually getting some help from the Wizards there is Seven trying to clear it across the across the field. Just getting a little bit too direct on it and has that ball go right out into the middle to the awaiting shade as the Sharks cut the lead back to two. It's going to have to be another quick one here from them if they want to get it to within one and have that chance at overtime. Well, it's going to get sent back over. If it scores, it's basically done for the Sharks. There's the 10 second timer. They have the score here. Water to Shade, Shade, shot, goal. It's still possible. So you're saying there is a chance for the Sharks right now. Still enough time for a kickoff play to happen. And we've seen kickoff goals happen. Shade had one earlier on. And gee, man, if this game goes back and gets 
sent to overtime. The Wizards will be kicking themselves. Oh, That's no. a good job. That's really good for the Wizards. Water plays it slow, but intercepted by seven to the backboard. Off the crossbar, down to the ground. And the Wizards, they stayed off the scare that was about to happen there. It's a delayed kickoff, just enough to get it done. That was scary on the side of the Wizards, though. That could have very easily not gone their way. You can't crack at the last moments like that. And uh, as as much as, like, yes, the Wizards won this game. But I, I can't help but feel that the momentum is now squarely in favor of the Sharks. And as Rocket League is such mo a momentum-based game, I... I I feel as though it's the Wizards who have to kind of correct something here and, and need to kind of recover from this game. Because even though they won, it definitely doesn't feel that way. Yeah, no, it definitely was a big battle back from the Sharks, and they had an opportunity to get it there. Uh, if you win that kickoff in a different manner, that's definitely in favor of the Sharks, and they could have tied that game up off that kickoff, and that would have been disastrous for the morale of the Wizards. And right now, uh, they're counting their blessings and maybe there's a little bit of uh, dark magic being involved there with the Wizards, but uh, <laughs> they definitely have an opportunity to get the lead here. They got to continue the things that were making them successful in the early stages of that last game and try to eliminate the issue. That's going to be a good opportunity there for seven, but cleared out there by Shade Ooh. as game three is underway. Feels back, but man, Shade tries to put that one back out to mid. Water, no touch there. Shade will collect this, trying to flick it over Lad. Windmill flick, not quite able to get it done. But you were just saying, though, that it, it feels like the Wizards bolt some black magic there. They, yeah, they won, but man, they do not feel good after that win. They do not feel like they are in a comfy position. And you can kind of see it just in how they've been playing in this first 30 seconds of this game. They haven't been taking at least two opportunities that I can count right now to get some, some offensive go or get some offense going. They might be playing a little bit more passively than usual. Yeah, right, right now they're trying to get this clear out, though, and seventh pushing it to try to set it up for Lad. That's a good ball into the middle shot coming in, but stopped out by Shade early on. And like you said, though, they are playing a little bit more passive here, Ooh. and that's just on target. Oh, that was that's very stuck. close for the Shark. And now great challenge from Lad to keep it up for the Wizards, and now they have the attack starting to brew right now. But Water will try to clear it out here. Good second touch by Water. That's going to leave it open for Shade, who's going to take the open. That just carries it in. Nothing the Wizards can do about that one. So the Sharks will take the early lead. 340 remaining in the game. They have a one goal lead. This is where the Sharks like to be. They like to take early leads. And, you know, I mean, obviously, first goal in Rocket League has an above average chance of winning. But we've seen the Wizards come back. And we've also seen the Sharks come back, though, too. So it definitely is very possible that either team can push this back and forth. Both teams are going right now. But Ladd is going to get bumped, maybe, possibly. But this is still a good spot for the Wizards. They have possession. Water will take it away, though. Ladd should be back and be able to send this upfield for seven. He puts it towards the back wall. Does do so. Gets it off the backboard. Shot coming in, but good job. Coming across that ball and clearing it out. Now the counterattack is on from the Shark. As it's on the back wall, Lad's going to have to make it. Back-to-back -back plays from either team as the players come across the field and make the clears. Rotation starting to get a little bit unstable at this point. There, the instability cracks. And Water puts the ball through. Just past the three-minute mark, Sharks have a two-goal lead. But when you have the rotations getting unstable like that on both sides, eventually someone's going to score or they're going to stabilize out. And in this case, it ended up in a goal for the Sharks. And really, I mean, we've seen a lot of good offense push coming from the Sharks as well. But, I mean, both teams are really playing at a high level right now. They, they're averaging a nine goals per game between the two teams right now so neither team is really out of it until you get really high up in there as Lad's gonna bang this one from the backcourt got it back to a one goal game that's just before halftime too wizards plenty of time remaining that was just a beautiful pinch and water wasn't ready for it lad was ready for it all day long and that's a little easy one all day long for the wizards so two and a half minutes remaining sharks still have that two one lead but it's feeling a little bit more like it could be swinging in the Wizards' favor. Lad has to go in. Shade almost able to dunk that one into the bottom left corner, but not quite. Now they'll have to retreat and recover. But set it set up well by Water to Shade. Easy goal. The Sharks, easy money back to 3-1.
And at first I thought this was a little bit of a mistake coming out from the Shark. Water and Shade committed on that first ball at the midfield line, but it, it generated a good attack for them in a two-on-one opportunity as well, and they took full advantage. Big booming pass off the back wall and back to a two-goal lead, like you said. So the Wizards, they, they kind of have fallen behind here. Good play coming from the Sharks, though, is really the, the name of the game. Well, to be fair, that probably was a bit of a mistake from the Sharks, but one of the marquees of a great Rocket League team is being able to turn your mistakes into opportunities because it kind of takes the opponent off guard when that happens. So you roll that mistake into something positive, you work with what you got, and if you can do that, play your hand the best you can, I mean, you, you end up with a goal every time if you're the Sharks. Well, they have another opportunity here, but it's actually going to be given away to the Wizards. This is a good chance for them now. Jade puts that to the corner, but that's where Seven is, and they're going to take full opportunity advantage of that. So good job by Seven grabbing that corner boost. Shade, bit of a missed touch. Probably would have been better served putting that either to the back wall towards the opposite corner or really just anywhere else except for right to Seven. The Wizards and Sharks, this has been a battle the entire series, then 1-1. One, one. Minute and a half here. 3-2, Sharks, Water. He'll try and jump for this one, but he won't get the touch. Comes out seven, gonna try and carry himself. Flicks it over. That's gonna be hung right up there for Lad. No one's back for the Sharks, though. Shane's gonna have a rush back. He'll be there, though. Into the corner, seven drops it down. Waiting for Steven to turn. Water drops it back out to midfield. These controls have to be a little bit better cleared by the Sharks because the Wizards are holding down that mid strong right now. Yeah, they very much are. Both of these teams are trying anything they can, but this is a mistake. It's going to come down really to the Wizards just having to try to push the advantage and get something generated on the offensive side. But a nice job from Shade nonetheless, getting that 50 at the ceiling basically, up in the nosebleeds and water. Nice easy touch to the empty net. So a two goal advantage back in favor here for the Sharks. I like what I saw from Water there, too. He had previously gone for the touch, ended up getting stuck up field around midfield a little bit. So instead of doubling back immediately, he hung around that midfield boost, waiting for Shade to either get an opportunity or miss it. And he was in the right position to get either, to do something about either one. In that case, it was Shade getting the opportunity available and Water just capitalized on it. So good job there from the Sharks, not only trusting each other, but also positioning well. Yeah, and that was a good good save coming across the net from water as well so they're they're playing very strong are the sharks on both ends of the pitch right now and really i, I would say they're gonna walk away with a game two or game three victory here excuse me and taking that series advantage going into game four really the wizards they really didn't you know wow anything right there in this game they had a couple of good plays but Really, it's come down to just the Sharks playing really solid on both ends of the field. Yep. Well, the Sharks will take this game three, two to one. They will threaten the series win. But the Wizards will try and prevent that from happening next game. And, you know, we've been saying over and over again, the, the Sharks, I mean, look at this game. They had less shots, or sorry, even shots to the Wizards. It's just that when they were actually on offense and driving up field, they felt more threatening every single time than the Wizards did. The Wizards were just not able to collect the clears that they got. They weren't able to get it to each other. The Sharks finding each other the entire time. Yeah, and that that's really what it comes down to. You got three assists on the pitch for the Sharks as well. So it, they're really trying to pass well within each other. And, it, and it's working. You know, Shade, Shade and Water are both really just trying to find each other every single opportunity they can. And the one play that water had I, I i mean i don't really know i don't really remember there being an opportunity that shade didn't really generate for water and vice versa so uh, the sharks they're just really pushing the the offensive opportunities every chance they have yeah it's just been a brilliant display by the sharks to be able to work together to push those offensive opportunities the wizards however credit to credit where it's due they've been brilliant on defense to at least prevent the sharks from running away with these games every single one has been close I want to see more from the Wizards. Maybe try and get some of those demo plays. That would be a good way to start opening up holes in the Sharks' defense. Water, though, almost able to get the flip reset. Seven now going to try and take it through. Looking for Lad to complete the goal. They double commit on it. That'll allow the Sharks to get the clear. 
And here it comes back the other the way quickly. Great pass coming out here. And really, I didn't know if the Wizards were ready for this at all, but Shade, a lot of power on this shot right down Broadway as well. They have the first goal here of game four. They're looking, they're, they're looking to strike and get this game and series clinched in their favor as well. Continue their winning ways in this season. Yeah, 77 miles per hour, top shelf, and they're both rushing back. There's no way they're getting to the bottom one. Seven, however, we'll get to that one after Lamb battles his way through both defenders to make sure that his teammate has an opportunity to put this one in the back of the net. Water, he he tried his hardest there, but kudos to Lad for being able to get that done. Yeah, not really anything they could do in that situation. So back to a tie game really very quickly off the kickoff. So see if the Sharks can strike back with a counter punch to the backboard from Shade as Lad sends it upfield. Water cutting that one off over to Shade. Trying to set that play up, and that's a great pass again. Water just setting up the, the dinner table here for Shade. This is what we need to see a little bit more of from the Wizards. Water now to Shade twice so far this this game. And we've seen them connecting in, in the opposite way as well in previous games. It, it, it's just been a passing frenzy for the Sharks in the entire match. Wizards, they just don't really know how to handle that. It, it, it seems like they're, they're used to playing against, you know, the pretty standard twos meta, which is basically solo play, someone else goes for a solo play, and then someone else goes for a solo play back and forth. And it, it, that's pretty easy to guard against. But when you have a two, a, a duo that is this used to playing with each other and connects this well on passes, they get the job done and they're threatening no matter where they are. And it's weird because Seven and Lad have been playing together for for a long time. They've been oh, com competitive. Oh. That's a great pitch coming in from Shade. As <laughs> the Sharks take a two goal advantage here and a little bit of a miscue from Seven. Uh, yeah. It it was a bit of a miscue, uh, but uh, I mean, you're chasing that one down into net. You're not exactly expecting that one to pinch that far back. So, uh, a bit of a miscue, yes, but uh, I really can't blame him for it too much. Well, we'll see what happens here, though. The Wizards, they're trying to push this back now. Try to get it back to a one-goal game. This is a good opportunity for them. Lad's going to go for a shot. Looks like they may have been bumped by water. Nobody's back for the Wizards. The Sharks are going to run it the other way. While well, swim it the other way, we'll call it, I suppose. And it's a four-to-one advantage. Water half flips goes. Boost goal. Easy money for the Sharks. Seven can't get back to that one. That was just off of a whip from Lad. That is so unfortunate, too. Seven set him up really well for it, as he had... That one was off post. He almost got it in himself. But the Wizards keep missing out on opportunities here. We've seen that a couple times this series. Oh, they're going to have to make some plays happen from the defensive zone here as well. Big one comes out from seven. Upfield for Lad off the backboard if nobody's there. But Shade with a good read this time. Made the mistake earlier on in the series and allowed the Wizards to take the attack to him. But this time, the shot coming in from Water is going to be saved out by seven. A double commit. Jade off the back wall. Tries to do it themselves this time. But a demo will make it a 1v2 for the Wizards. Lad trying to get it through. But again, just unrelenting pressure coming forward from the Sharks. I like that demo there. The presence of mind recognized that that was an upfield pass opportunity. And then to take away that opportunity to keep the pressure going. I like that. Great presence of mind by the Sharks to get that done. And they will have the opportunity here off of that. They are still pushing the offensive. Shade comes in, gets a great 50, but it's going to get sent past Water. Lad will get the ball in. Just past halftime, the Wizards will bring it back to a two-goal deficit. And that comes down to another double commit, and then Water deciding to try to turn and make, make the advantage still their favor. Lad just too much pace to get to that ball first and get it past Water, and yeah, it literally just drove down the other, drove it down the other way in the end of the net. So, not really much to say other than just for Water to be careful on those rotations, not really allow the Wizards to get those quick counterattacks because they have taken advantage of those opportunities time and time again. Here's a good opportunity for those Wizards, but it's going to go over the top of Lad. Big backboard clear coming from Water, pushing the advantage against Seven, taking that boost. No, actually, they may have not have taken that boost. That might be the favor to Seven. Ball still not oh. in a good spot here for the Wizards as that miss from Lad once again. A couple of misses here as yeah. well. What's going on with Lad today? He's had a couple of really critical misses and then gets faked out there. So I don't know if there's something going on with him or, or what have you, but 
just concerning trends for Ladd so far in this series. I don't know if he's getting in his own head or what, but he'll have to figure that out. Water, what are you doing? Almost able to get it in. Not quite off of that quick reset. I'll have to send it back the other way. And the Sharks, there's no reason for them to go for a few things like that and then continue to push. They, they just gotta back off, recognize it's no longer in their favor. They, they have a 4-2 lead. They don't really have to do much besides just defend here. Yeah, and there's not a lot of time on the clock, but this is gonna be an opportunity. Popping it over, great recognition from seven. Back to a one goal game, and maybe defense isn't the answer here for the Sharks. Maybe, but that wasn't a great touch from Shade. Right into the hands of Seven, who was waiting. But Water also a little bit far up to try and defend against that one. So, Sharks maybe a little bit greedy, maybe a little bit over aggressive on that one. Didn't have to go for it. Water is going to try and get that one back. It's going to go up for Shade, who's dropping it down. Crossbar down. Water with a chance, but Lad will come across and get a hold of it as Water couldn't get the bullet shot on target. Flip reset. Oh, oh. Flip reset. Ooh. Well, that's, that's a play of the week nomination right there. Hashtag EOTW on Twitter or once again in our Discord, like I said earlier. But yeah, that was a heck of a shot of water. Yeah, great shot comes out from Water Shade, just kind of sitting there after the goal explosion, just kind of in awe of their teammate as well. So back to a two goal advantage. Man, if, if the Sharks do this, and this is going to be another kickoff right here for the Sharks. Now they're kind of in the heads of the Wizards as this, I mean, just. Booming off that corner, Lad really in a bad spot. And like you said, it's kind of concerning that the touches and the reads from Lad are just seeming to be a little bit off right now. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, bad omens from him earlier on in, or, well, late, late in that last game and early in this game. And that's another one that Lad gets, that Lad lets get by him. I don't know if, if, if Lad is having, uh, just getting in his own head, if he's having control input issues. Um, I, I don't know. Someone might want to check on Lad. Um, yeah, the kickoff does go in favor for the Wizards here. This is going to go right back into the middle, off the back wall. Lad's there. That's, oh, well, Lad's back, apparently. I don't know. That was a, an interesting set of you know, circumstances here, but a great job of getting one back anyway and kind of limiting the damage that the Sharks have been putting on right here. Yeah. Seven to four now in favor of the Sharks. 35 seconds left. We we saw the Sharks come back last game. The Wizards might be able to do something like that here. Low Water is going to have this one basically uncontested, but he can't get up to that second touch to be able to put it in the goal. Lad takes that one up. Shade up again. Water jumps for this one. I like what we're seeing from the Sharks here, too. They're not going for passes at this point because they could be easily intercepted and turned back around. They're going for solo plays and trying to just carry the ball, control it as best as they can. I like it. Yeah, and just slowing down the play as well. They know that they don't need to do anything here. They have the three gold advantage with little time on the clock as it does expire here. Just waiting for the ball to touch the ground. Right there it is. And man. We've seen a lot of offense in this series so far. Nine goals in game one, nine goals in game two, six in game three, and now a whopping 11 here in game number four. But the Sharks, they come out on top again. Sharks with 14 shots across that game. Seven for 14 in terms of shooting percentage. That is a 50% a shooting percentage is pretty good as a team. To be, to be completely honest, you're expecting usually to get around like 35 to 40 area, but having that 50% shooting percentage means you are very, very efficient. Wizards, I mean, 100% shooting percentage, but at the same time, you couldn't get the ball out of your own zone for much, and they had to come up with four saves to even stay at that three-goal deficit. So the Sharks, they have the Wizards number at this point. Are the Wizards going to be able to come back and get this game five, do you think, to at least uh, save, save themselves from a 4-1? It's going to come down to not allowing the Sharks to really just pepper the net constantly. I mean, 14 shots is an astronomical amount of shots. So, I mean, really what the Wizards need to do is just play some midfield defense, backboard defense. Not allow those opportunities that the Sharks have been getting to really become threatening opportunities. And they should be able to at least keep the game close and have an opportunity to win this game five. The Wizards are going to try and do something quickly here. Seven almost with the windmill click. Lad comes up and caps it off. Good setup by the Wizards. Seven almost able to get it done himself. Not quite, though. 
that was just an awkward pull touch though. I, I, I don't think Shade, I don't think Shade nor Water were expecting that. No, I, I don't believe so either. That was definitely, definitely interesting. So, unfortunately for the Sharks, they do find themselves down here so far in game five. They're trying to get as many games as possible and try to run away with the division. They're already leading it quite well. So I, I would expect that they're going to try to get some advantages here on the offensive half. They're going to get a challenge here from Shade. Getting a 50 is not going to be good, though. Lad's going to be able to get back, maybe to get this attack going. Devin's actually going to take a shot instead, but a clear comes across from Shade. Bouncing ball will be given to Lad as the Wizards have the attack right now. They're generating offensive opportunities, and that's just going to fall in. And that looks like it was a fake coming off from Shade, uh, from uh, Seven, excuse me. I'm not sure if Seven actually meant to miss this one, but it definitely had the uh, the effect of faking out Shade. Shade thought he was going to have to block one there. Water just wasn't ready for that one to just kind of trickle down. So 2-0 now for the Wizards, leading 42 seconds into this one. Up goes Water, trying to bring this one down. Seven takes the touch off the crossbar, not there for Lad. Water takes it over top of him. Mache can get there quickly. This is an open net, but it will bounce off the backboard. Lad has just enough time to get back there. And not necessarily a missed opportunity for the Sharks, but uh, just just definitely weren't in the right position to be able to get a hold of it. Yeah, wrong place, wrong time. And the Wizards were able to retreat quickly enough. And now that is a great critical touch coming out from seven. Shea's going to get a couple there of demos. Go. That's exactly what you want to see. Get some physical play. Started up from the Sharks. They get it over one. Shade's getting it over two. Nice. Water. Hey, Water had a chance to secure that goal, but well on them to leave it for their teammate. That's another play of the week nomination. Shade carries it over one, over two, gets bumped out, but who cares? It's on goal trajectory. And that's going to be a Shark goal, bringing it back to a one goal deficit with 335 remaining. Wizards, though, have been doing a much better job of trying to get themselves that that last game here in the series to at least keep it to a 3-2. But Wizards are, or, sorry, the Sharks are starting to feel themselves again. Uh, here comes another great opportunity. Water looking for that redirect. Not going to find the contact on that required. Big clear comes out from Lad. Maybe another one right here. It takes over possession, but a bump from Water onto seven. Kind of shuts down that offensive push from the Wizards. This a good bump from Shade. Now Water trying to get over the top, and Lad's going to go for the bump. Back and forth go the bumps. Back and forth go the goal opportunities, but a stop out by Shade limits the damage for now as it does still remain a 2-1 to one advantage for the Wizards. Ball into the middle, though, for the Shard. That was so crucial of a, of a save by Shade. That would not have put them in a good spot. What happened here? I don't think Lad thought that one was on target. I thought he thought, he, like, he thinks it might have been crossbar. I don't think this was even calculated by Water. I think that's what he was trying to do. And Lad just gets caught out. I don't know if he didn't have boosts or whatever, but we have a 2-2 game just before halftime. And that's just what the Sharks wanted to see. So they now are really starting to push the advantage. Lad with another miss there, but Seven is already on top of the ball. Here comes Lad again. Gets it to Shade. Still has possession. Looks for the shot. Looks for the goal. Gets it off the post. Ooh. Actually hits it away. Possibly Water had an opportunity to get to that ball. But this one goes back into the middle of the field. And Shade is a little too far back right here. Kind of getting a little bit of a dunk. And back to the back wall it goes. The boost steal starts to come out here. Big demo comes up from Seven on the attempting shooter of Water. That will allow Seven to take it back up the field. Oh, good job on Water to prevent the double touch opportunity. Opportunity, though, for Seven. Caught him just a little bit too quickly. He wasn't expecting that one to come back his way that fast. Shade over one again, trying for the air carry a second time. But Seven says, no, 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 not again, dude. Not again. You've done it once. Once is enough. But now Shane's going to have a quick one the other way. Control on the ball and then the ball into the back of the net. 3 2 advantage for the Shark. Evan, a little bit too far up or just missed a touch or misread something. I don't know. But he gets caught out. Shade just dribbles it right by him. And there's been three unanswered goals for the Sharks to get back into the lead of this game. 141 now. The Sharks are looking to close it out, especially if Shade can get this one. Water will have the touch. It's all. Evan can do to just sit there. Or Lad, excuse me. Yeah, Lad trying to get a clear, but a good challenge from Shade here once again. Man, I, 
I'm, I'm wondering where Seven was in that play. They were kind of way out of position, but a two goal advantage in favor of the Sharks and they have all the attacks going. And that was another shot on target that Seven had to stretch out and make the save on. But really right now, the Wizards really on the back oh, water. The Sharks having another opportunity. Water's got to pass Lad again, but a good recovery from Lad is going to get it back to the Sharks half. But no boost to be found here as the ball crosses the field. Seven will take over possession for the Wizards. We'll be trying to dribble it through. Oh, okay. The multi wall tap. I like it. I like it. Gets it past the last defender here on the side of the Sharks. That'll bring it back to a one goal deficit for the Wizards. 4 3 now with just over a minute remaining. That was cute. I like that it. Was, that was cute. That was real good. I don't think it was very much expected either. Shade not really in a good spot for that to happen, but the dunk comes out in the favor of the Wizards here. Back to a one-goal game, but Shade trying to strike again to get it back to two. Devin has the ball in the car, getting challenged from the left side of their car by Shade. Water, water's going to have to make a play here. Defensively does do so. Now the quick attack the other way for the Sharks could be in effect. Water. Looking for Shade. Oh. I think it's blocked out by their teammate, but the double double commit. Seven's going the other way. Are we going to be tied here? Going to a possible overtime. Yes, we are. Four to four. 33 seconds, though. Either team has shown that they can score quickly off of these kickoffs. And for the last minute and a half or so, it's just been one goal after the other. So 33 seconds here. Four to four. When we see the Sharks fall here in game five, holding goal opportunity. Shade trying to get it past seven, seven off the backboard. It's a 2v1, Water has Shade for the pass, flicks it over, it's gonna go, not, oh, the own goal! The own goal by seven might have just killed it for the Wizards! Oh, that is such an unfortunate play here. The demo was big, but the touch of the ball puts it into the net, you you just absolutely hate to see that. The Wizards are going to be scrambling here with 18 seconds remaining. It is possible to happen. They have possession in the offensive zone now, but now Water's going to take that boost. Play it slow. Get the flip reset possibly, but a challenge at midfield. Lad's got an opportunity. It's on their car, and no, it's going to go wide. wide. All the oh. Wizards kill themselves in game five. They have no one to play but themselves for this one. Seven Still. trying to carry through. They might be able to do it, but it's going to be the Sharks who are going to try and just put this one on the ground. There it is. The Wizards have no one to blame for themselves for that game five. An own goal, or sorry, an own goal, and then a wide shot on an open net by Lad. Oh, if you're the Wizards, you've got to be hitting yourself here. That's oh. just, wow. That's the third game with nine goals in it and a scoreline of five to four, though, as well, so... You hate to see it for the Wizards, but the Sharks, they're they're so thankful that that happened for themselves. I mean, <laughs> that gives them that gives them a 4-1 series here. Yep. And that's exactly what the doctor ordered if you're the Sharks. Man, oh man, you, you got to feel for the Wizards though. Oh man, feels bad. Uh, I, I I I I've had a lot of losses, man, but rarely have I had a loss that would sting that bad. I the mean, Wizards, I... uh, you, you, you just got to lick your wounds at that point and try and shake it off. It's going to be rough, yeah. but you have more to play next week. Yeah, you've got more games left in the season. So, like you said, just kind of lick the wounds and try to recover when it comes to the next matchup that you have. So, I mean, it's a tough situation that they were put in there. I mean, the, the demo was necessary, but the, the, the bump happens and then the, the jump happens and ball goes in and just... Yep. Oh, uh, that's just got to be oh, heartbreaking for the Wizards indeed. Well, folks, that'll be all for Chaser and I here. We'll be replaced by a new set of casters coming up here on MLE Sports GG2 presented by APM Music. Uh, I don't remember who exactly we're having next, but we'll have more great Rocket League for you tonight coming up here in just a few minutes. So stick around. We'll be right back.